In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use Social Bee. Social Bee is a social media management tool, and I'm going to give you a full tutorial demo on how to use Social Bee. So this is the tool. And by the way, my name's Chris, and I am a social media management dork. I run my own small little agency helping small businesses manage their social media accounts. So it's in my better interest to to be informed on the best tools that are being used for this, right? And today I'm going to show you how to use Social Bee. It's going to be a full tutorial demo on how to use it. And at the end of the video, I'm going to give you my honest response on if I think it's worth the money and a possible alternative that you can use that's a little bit cheaper and does all the same things. All right. So first of all, Social Bee, um, it, it costs around $29 per month if you're paying monthly. If you pay annually, it'll be $24 a month. So, and again, that's pretty comparable to what a lot of the other social media management tools are also charging. So this is, um, upon signing up for Social Bee, I'm going to skip forward past that just because you know the sign up is three minutes worth of info you probably don't need and this is the dashboard once you sign up and of course social b is going to ask you to attach some social profiles as you can see here i have attached driftwood this driftwood facebook page and i've also attached this uh my mid media marketing instagram page and I'm kind of going to walk you through the dashboard and like what to expect here when signing up for Social Bee and just how to use it. So, and by the way, I will give a caveat that uh, I'm just a normal dude. Uh, I am a tech nerd, but I'm a normal dude. I'm going to give my honest opinion on like what, you know, again, I've, I've gone through and reviewed almost all these social media management tools. And I'm kind of a harsh critic because I've seen them all. And I feel like that's the most valuable info you guys are looking for, right? All right. So. This is the user dashboard and on the left hand side here are the tabs in which we can move around with stuff right so this content vault um you can bring a lot of curated content in here and uh kind of uses like ai to kind of help you work with engaging posts and stuff you can create a hash hashtag collection you can attach rss feeds in my honest opinion though i don't use this and the reason is is because uh for the most part if we're being honest these social media management tools we're only using a handful of things, right? Number one is analytics and reporting. I want to see the analytics and see if they're going in the right direction, right? If, and then I want reporting to be able to print out the reports and possibly show them to my boss or to my customers or wh whoever, right? Maybe it's the business owner you want to show them to. And uh, also we want to be able to schedule posts and then we want to manage inbox and notifications. And Social Bee, I feel like it does it does some of that but i feel like they're kind of trying to recreate the the wheel here with just too much complicated stuff so this next tab is called the social media co-pilot and again this is kind of just like i'm guessing an ai tool that's kind of going to help you create posts of course this feature is in beta I'm not a fan of it if i'm being honest with you the schedule setup um you'd think this would be like the the planner you know because a lot of these tools have like these social planners and you just click where you want to post uh, but actually this is where you just add kind of like labels to add posts you know what i mean like if i were to click here uh you can just click up here though add a post you can this is where you can add posts and you just kind of craft them here i'll show you hello there and on the right hand side it should preview what your post looks like um select all hello there see yeah it, it, this shows you on the right hand side what it looks like for instagram and facebook because that's what i have attached and yeah let's x out of here close and you can also make like labels and stuff like i was telling you before it's a little confusing though and as far as next posts this feature i don't this is showing you like what's coming up next as far as like what you have scheduled but couldn't you just look at the calendar if I'm an honest man. And then the analytics. This is one of the most important features. Um, it has pretty decent analytics based upon your socials and you can export these and it gives you pretty much everything. But all these social media management tools kind of have similar scenarios like this and you can export them. They need this at bare minimum because it's a, it's one of those structured things that we need, right? One of the structured tools. And then this this uh, one is Concierge B Services, access to your own dedicated social media specialist. What is that? I'm guessing that's another AI tool I don't need. And then this engage feature, um, you can add, uh, you can start getting engaged. It says organize your social media feeds on boards and monitor your content by adding stream feed streams. Again, I don't know what that is. 
So that being said, um, this is how you navigate through social B and how to use it. Um, some of the stuff, like I told you, there's a lot of like overly complicated, like AI features. That being said, guys, um, is, do I think social B is worth it? My answer is probably no, because there's a lot of other tools that do the same thing. If I were to give you a, just a quick example of one, let's go with this one. It's called Metricool. It's 20 bucks a month. And I, it's really simple up here in the navigation. I have analytics, the inbox and planning and smart links and ads on the left here. I just attach my socials. They have everything too: Twitch, even Google business profile guys. None of the competitors have that. And again, like I was telling you guys, this is only $20 a month. The inbox feature, uh, it's just going to take a second to load here. What it does is it takes all your, all your social profiles and it brings it to one inbox. So like when um, someone is messaging on Instagram or TikTok or all at the same time, all of all of those inboxes go to the one one inbox, which is pretty sweet in my opinion. And what you can do is you can reply to them all in the same place. And they have a phone app you can download and just use that as well. So it, it kind of like stops you from going in between like five different socials. And then the planning feature, this is really easy. All you have to do is kind of click to make a post on where you want. And this is what the post looks like. Uh, it has a preview over here and then you can save and schedule and then you can just drop and drag. You can move it around. It's, it's like, it's super, super simple. And again, guys, this, this tool has the basics and I'm not buying any special AI crap. I don't know. It's just my honest opinion. Um, and again, guys, uh, you can sign up for a 30 day free trial for that tool in the link below. It is my affiliate link 30 day free trial and it's 20 bucks a month after that. So, and again, you might think I'm like kind of sounding like a sellout, but, um, that versus, you know, like I've done the reviews on all these tools, Hootsuite, which is $130 a month. Um, I choose that tool over all of the other competitors. Um, and again, the link will be down below in the description and the comments. This is my video on how to use social B. Uh, tutorial demo on social B is is it worth it? I'm gonna go with that. Uh, it's a, it's a decent tool, but I feel like it's over overly complicated, and they're trying to add too much to it. So, guys, without further ado, please hit up the comments. I'm a normal dude, and I will reply to you. So, and I just figured I'd shoot some of these videos to help you all. So, please subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.